There's nothing greater than a brilliantly immersive isekai series with our MC dragged into a strange and foreign world, learning more whilst reaching levels of sheer overpoweredness, and unraveling this strange new place is a fun adventure for viewers. But the real strength of the quality isekai world is the MC itself. After all, you're following the story of this main character from the very first episode. Great to see you again as we bring you some fantastic anime recommendations, great isekai series with even greater main characters that are seriously overpowered. Inferno. Number 10. The Master of Ragnarok and Blesser of Enhyar, Yoto Saho. No. <laughs> An absolutely brilliant anime series based on the highly successful light novel series that is still running to this day. The Master of Ragnarok is a high fantasy isekai series that is set up and explores a very unique and particular harem that develops nicely. The main draw of this series is Yato Suo, a this seemingly average 14-year-old high school student with an impressive level of knowledge about urban legends. The series kicks off with our hero on the hunt to disprove yet another urban legend, until he discovers that it was actually true, getting forcibly sent to another world with a heavy basis in Norse mythology. After a while, Yato realizes that this isn't necessarily another world, but Earth in the past. Raising within the ranks of the Wolf Clan and using his modern knowledge and technology, Yato is hilariously overpowered. Soon surrounded by an ever-growing collection of beautiful magical-wielding maidens, our overpowered MC still has his eye set on his childhood friend and one true love. Number 9. Seven Senses of the Reunion A brilliant example of the fantasy and RPG video game isekai genre, Seven Senses of the Reunion takes place in the year 2034, with the spread of a globally popular game known as Reunion. We follow Haruto, an absolute legend of the game and his close friends as they absolutely dominate this game. Unfortunately, one of their friends die while playing the game and it was soon shut down. A few years pass and a new game is launched, similar to the old one and heavily inspired by it. Dipping their toes into the game, our MC Haruto meets one of his old gang original members, Ashi and his friends that passed away six years ago. The old clan meets up once more in order to uncover the truth and mystery behind everything that's going on, banding together behind Haruto Amo, a fighter and the leader of the guild. With an optimistic and positive outlook on life, he has been shaken to the core since the death of his old friend. A captivating and engaging story with a cast of characters that we refuse to let go of. Seven Senses of the Reunion is an absolute masterclass of the genre. Number 8. Isekai Cheap Magician <laughs> A fun mix of action and fantasy in an engaging isekai world, Isekai Cheap Magician understands the framework of an isekai anime and attempts to shake things up in a fun and interesting way. A brilliant watch from start to end, you don't get much more overpowered than Tashi Nishimura, a 15-year-old high schooler that is a huge fan of role-playing games. Blessed with pretty good reflexes and the ability to stay calm even in the most stressful situations, Tachi's greatest weaknesses is his severe lack of motivation and ambition. An optimistic and kind MC, willing to lay his body on the line and even sacrifice himself at a moment's notice, Tiachi is most definitely one of Isekai Cheat Magician's strongest draws. The story and world building itself is also very impressive, an aspect that we thoroughly enjoyed. Two high school friends and potentially lovers teleported into the magical world of Alita, enrolling as adventurers and discovering their insane physical and magical abilities, overpowered to the point that they maintain a distinct power level advantage over most magic users across Alita. 
Honestly, their powers are so strong, even they consider themselves cheaters. Number 7. Full Drive The MC of Full Drive is more relatable than you'd think. Our hero is a high school boy that is sick of school and life in general, turning to virtual reality games as a means of escaping reality. Pretty grim stuff, but things take a turn for the better when Hiroshi gets tricked into buying Kiwami Quest. This game attempts to emulate reality to a ridiculous level. It's basically an alternate reality, although it's extremely difficult and unbelievably unfair. Hiroshi attempts to master and complete the game, beginning his journey to sheer levels of overpoweredness. A strong story with some insane world-building and some surprisingly brilliant excuses for humour. Full Drive is definitely the complete package. Although it doesn't look to innovate the genre, it achieves what it sets out to do perfectly. Number 6. Susai no Gargantia Lido An interesting adventure series with our greatest weaknesses, mechs. Not afraid to get emotional and explore the softer side of romance, Gargantia on the Verudos planet drives deep on a number of interesting themes and poses some quality questions that had us wondering long after it had ended. The leading man is definitely one of the main draws of the series. The 16-year-old soldier that fights and puts his life down for the Galactic Alliance, Lido finds himself shipwrecked on Earth after a failed combat attempt. Stranded and far from home, the journey of Lido as he starts to learn and understand his new surroundings, slowly meeting a fresh set of new faces and beginning to learn and experience some interesting and new concepts of human society that his ultra-futurist civilization has long since forgotten. Brilliant series, fantastic story, great characters, and Lido is one of the slickest MCs you will ever come across. Do yourself a favour and check out Susai no Gargantua. Number 5. Grace of the Gods One of the newer animes on this list, but definitely one of the best new series to come out. By The Grace of the Gods gives our lovable MC some absolutely insane powers and incredible adventures due to receiving personal blessings from the gods themselves. Following the story of a lonely man that lived a difficult life, Ryoma Takabashi was far from happy, until one day he passed away in his sleep. Greeted by three gods that really cared for him, Ryoma is sent to a magical fantasy world as a child, able to use his knowledge and blessed with some impressive abilities. Ryoma aims to make his second chance at life the best he possibly can. Filled with awesome challenges and some fun new characters, By the Grace of the Gods has a generally upbeat and enjoyable tone that is filled with adventure and light fantasy. The slice of life format reminds us not to take things seriously and enjoy the fun antics of the lovable yet hilariously overpowered Ryoma Takabashi. Number 4. Gate Series A brilliant fantasy series that is a lot more grounded in reality than most isekai series that we've come across. The Gate series has seen a large level of success in manga, anime, and even light novel form. With an incredibly strong backstory and world-building, the anime series really shines with the overpowered joy that is Yajomi Itami. A portal appears one day in modern-day Tokyo and lets loose an army of medieval soldiers and monsters. Using our modern weapons and tactics, the armed forces are easily able to fight back the forces into the portal and set up a base in order to negotiate peace with the foreign fantasy world that exists through the portal. Our hero, Yoji, is a young armed forces officer that is sent into the portal, a world where dragons and elves and many magical fantasy beasts exist. We join Yoji through a number of exciting adventures through the gate, from meeting ancient dragons and assisting imperial princesses. Yoji can't help but cause trouble wherever he goes. Number 3. The World's Finest Assassin Gets Reincarnated Into Another World As An Aristocrat 
暗殺貴族トゥアハーデの信念に基づき排除する。An extremely new series that has absolutely exploded since hitting the scene. A single episode makes it clear to see what makes this one of the freshest and most enjoyable anime series out right now. Aimed at a slightly older audience, yet still not about some intense scenes with quality fighting, we follow one of our most overpowered characters we've seen across anime in a long time. Laugh starts off as an old man on the run. Having worked as the world's greatest assassin, he was on the cusp of retirement. However, the plane he was on was sabotaged, and Luff was unable to escape and survive. Awakened in a fantasy realm by a goddess that needed his special skill set, and set off on a path to save this magical world, Luff aims to live his life to the fullest and set off an epic and interesting adventure. Number 2 Mar. <laughs> An absolute classic anime series that was huge on its release, but most fresh face anime fans actually haven't checked this one out. One of my actual personal favorites, you aren't a true weeb until you give Mar a watch. Fun and light hearted, and a brilliant dash of the supernatural in this exciting comedy series that really is like no other. That is a huge video game nerd as well as a fan of fantasy fairy tales. Rescued from this boring and mundane planet and summoned to a mysterious foreign world of Ginta Toromizo, that Ginta Toromizo had seen in his dreams. Our MC's weaknesses are replaced by his strengths, making him one of the most overpowered main characters we've seen. Physically superior with insane endurance and stamina, Ginta doesn't even need his glasses anymore. Meeting a witch and getting his hands on some insanely powerful weapons, Mar takes Ginta on some crazy adventures of discovery. Learning more and more about this fantasy realm and desperately searching for a way to return back to him. Mar is a series you desperately need to check out. And number one, the saint magic power is omnipotent. Sai Takanashi. An absolutely brilliant series that is still reasonably new to the scene, looking to shake up the classic anime tropes that we've all gotten used to. We follow Sai Takanashi, your classic office worker returning home one night and being summoned to the magical world of Salutina. In a ritual that's meant to summon a saint to help this world and banish the dark magic that plagued it, two saints were summoned instead of one. The crown prince prefers the second girl over Sai, but our hero is not trodden on. The brilliant side decides to be a researcher and studies the herbs and potions of this magical realm, slowly developing a relationship with the commander of the Third Order of Knights. Although not as action heavy or as violent as the classic fantasy isekais we've seen, The Saint's Magic is a brilliant series that brings something new to the table. And honestly, we loved every minute of it, and so will you too.